Hello, this is Kendra, and welcome to the Kendra's Card Challenge 15 Trinity Stamp Super Sponsor Hop. Today I'll be sharing how to make a card using sketch number one from this quarterly card challenge. This is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned to find out how to enter to win. To make this card, I'll be using the Tardy Turtle stamp set and coordinating dies. This is an adorable stamp set with this cute little turtle with a stack of gifts on its back, along with a balloon and two sentiments, happy birthday and sorry I'm late. And I love that the coordinating dies also cut out the sentiments. I'm also using the double scoop six by six paper pad. And as you can see, I've used a few sheets out of this paper pad before. It's mostly ice cream related images, but it does have a few colorful sheets that I think will work well for a birthday card. I'm going to use this ombre pattern here for the center focal point. And I'm either going to use the stripe pattern or the one with the abstract circles and the different colors that match the colors in this ombre paper. I think I'm going to go with the abstract circles. Um, so I'm cutting this to measure three and a half inches and I'm using a green sheet of cardstock for the layers. I'm cutting this square to three and three quarter inches. And then I'm using this other sheet with all the matching colors for the triangle pieces. And I'm cutting a three inch uh, square and a three and a quarter inch layer out of that same green cardstock. Next, I'm cutting both of these at a diagonal. I just line up the corners of the square into the line of my paper trimmer. Now, this green piece was just a little bit too big, so I trimmed it down a bit and did the same thing. Cut that at a diagonal. So now for the stamping of my image, I'm using Express it Blending Cardstock on my Misty Stamping platform to stamp out the images and the sentiments. And I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink since this is Copic marker friendly and I plan on coloring up this image with my Copic markers. Now this is a brand new stamp so usually when I stamp it the first time it doesn't really stamp very well because you know it needs to be conditioned but this actually stamped pretty good. There was only one little spot on that middle present and I probably didn't press down hard enough on it so I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink and stamp that again and sometimes I make mistakes whenever I'm coloring so I decided to just flip this over and go ahead and stamp out another image especially since I had enough room on this piece of cardstock and I like to have extras too if I ever need to make a quick card and I love that this is a belated birthday card because I tend to forget birthdays sometimes Okay, so now it is time to color this up. I selected a bunch of coordinating Copic markers that match the colors in the pattern paper. So I'm gonna speed this up and color this image. And while I do, I'll tell you more about the challenge in case you're not familiar. I offer a free PDF printable that shows how you can make 15 cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper with little to no scraps. Plus, you can have a chance to win lots of prizes by sharing your creations throughout the quarter, including a $20 gift certificate to Trinity Stamps. The quarterly challenge runs from July 1st to September 30th of 2024. And you can find out how to download the free printable over on my website at kendrascardchallenges.com. I invite you to watch my challenge introduction video that explains all about it and how to enter. And I have it linked above and in the description box below. The PDF printable is available to download for free from my Patreon page when you join as a free member. All you need to do to join as a free member is enter your email address, and when you do, the post with the link will be pinned at the top of the page. You can also join as a paid member to receive additional benefits. Paid patrons help to keep the challenges free each quarter. There are different benefits and perks depending on the tier that you choose, but starting at just $5 a month, you can receive access to a printer-friendly version of the challenge, access to previous challenges, and bonus printables. The next tier at $10 a month, you receive everything I've already mentioned, plus early access to new card challenges and a card-making kit sampler. And then for $25, VIP patrons receive additional benefits on top of what's already been mentioned. And these include a handmade card from me, a monthly mystery card making kit with enough supplies to make 15 or more card fronts, access to additional video tutorials, and a crafty live stream session each quarter. 
For more information about my Patreon, you can scan the QR code on the printable or visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. I'll also have this linked in the description box below. Now that I'm finished coloring the images, I cut this out using the coordinating dies. And now it's time to assemble the card. I decided to use this magenta cardstock for my card base. Now this video today is part of a video hop and there is a giveaway. So all you need to do to enter is complete the form linked in the description box after watching the video. You can have more chances to win for each video that you watch in the hop. So I hope you'll check out all of the videos by the design team members. There is a playlist link below that will show you all of the videos in the hop. It makes it really easy to just go to the next video. Now for this turtle, I decided to use an action wobbler on the back so that it would pop out and wiggle when you take it out of the envelope. And because I'm using this action wobbler, I wanted to make it a little stronger. So I cut out another layer of everything using white heavyweight cardstock to glue that onto the back of what's already been cut out. To finish off this card, I decided to pull out my bag of Trinity Stamps embellishments to see which color matched the best. I have a lot of different colors here, but I decided to go with these turquoise blue ones, and I believe these are called Razzleberry Bubbles. And I just placed a few sporadically around the circles on the triangle pieces, to, and this finishes off the card. Now, if you'd like to purchase any of these supplies from Trinity Stamps, I hope you'll use my affiliate link in the description box below. Don't forget to fill out that giveaway form for a chance to win the prize for this hop. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you're not already and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my new uploads. I'll be announcing the winner for this hop on the community tab here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to check back after the hop ends on August 7th. I hope you'll join us for challenge 15 for a chance to win some wonderful prizes valued at over $1,000. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you'll join me again soon. Have a wonderful day.